The Navy and the Marine Corps are testing out modern warfighting concepts on a scale never seen before, as part of Large Scale Exercise 2021, paving the way for even larger naval exercises in the future, according to Navy leaders. Labeled the biggest exercise we've done in a generation by Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Mike Gilday, the exercise from August 3 to 16 pulls together multiple elements inspired by other training events, including strike group certification exercises like composite unit training, integrated lib exercises like bold alligator, and virtual exercises like fleet synthetic training, and completes them in concert as part of a single, globally integrated exercise. Admiral Douglas Beale, director of Large Scale Exercise 2021, told reporters on August 5 said, It's unique that we have all the Navy component commanders, the four star fleet commanders involved. It's unique that we're doing something on this scale, as a naval exercise with the Navy and the Marine Corps. It's more than 25,000 folks that are all linked together and in the same battle problem all at once. The scope and scale is different than it has been in the past but it's necessary because we don't get to do this every day. The exercise aims to demonstrate the Navy's ability to employ precise, lethal, and overwhelming force across 17 different time zones and involves approximately 36 LIV units and more than 50 virtual constructive units, along with six Navy and Marine Corps component commands. According to the Navy, as a result, the exercise requires U.S. Fleet Forces Command, U.S. Pacific Fleet, and U.S. Naval Forces Europe to take on a global focus, rather than direct attention toward individual carrier strike groups as previous exercises have done. The ultimate objective is to polish the service's ability to synchronize maritime operations throughout the world. To do this, the Navy and Marine Corps are utilizing a live virtual constructive environment to cultivate alternative warfare concepts, including distributed maritime operations, expeditionary advanced base operations, and littoral operations in a contested environment. The exercise pulls in ships like the guided missile cruiser San Jacinto, which is currently pier site in Norfolk, and undergoing maintenance availability, into a virtual setting where the ship's goal is to identify potential air threats. Captain Christopher Marvin, commanding officer of the San Jacinto, told reporters, so, time is of the essence, accuracy is of the essence. There is a myriad of information that's either presented or not presented. So, every time a trap pops up there that you don't know about, I like to say, it's a mystery that has to be solved, and the clock is running. Well, the exercise scenario was written in advance, it shifts based on the decisions commanders makes throughout the exercise in order to accomplish daily objectives. Assessment teams also provide reporting and feedback so commanders can modify accordingly. Beale declined to elaborate on the specifics of the scenario sailors and marines are facing, but noted that the scenario employs diplomatic and economic instruments to accompany military components. Beale said, it's a global scenario, it's a worldwide scenario, and it builds up, and then we end up in some sort of a crisis or in some sort of a fight. Then we'll call a stop to it and figure out what we've learned. According to Marine Corps Colonel Nicholas Nuzzo, Deputy Exercise Director said, as a result, the overall goal of the exercise is to understand new warfighting concepts that are not fully refined, such as distributed maritime operations and expeditionary advanced base operations and understand what these concepts mean for the fleet. Then we'll call a stop to it and figure out what we've learned. Although there will be training value, this exercise is about validating, refining, testing warfighting concepts, while elements of the exercise have been tested on a smaller scale. Large-scale exercise incorporates those components on a grander scale than previously seen. Beale said, likewise, the large-scale exercise is designed to discover new elements that stem from concepts like literal operations in a contested environment, expeditionary advanced base operations, and distributed maritime operations. Each one of those three things has many discrete capabilities that lie underneath them. This is an opportunity to exercise those capabilities and test some new ones, figure out what works, what doesn't work, and how we integrate that into the way we fight our wars in the future. The exercise will be repeated regularly every three years from now on. John Hefty, Director of Fleet and Joint Training at Fleet Forces Command added that the scale and scope will likely increase over the years and also include joint partners and allies.